So, two things I specifically want to talk about that happened in this episode, and the first one was that, um, this is obviously the same runes, I guess, that the Soul Maiden, um, explored, you know, back in her heyday with her old party members, and now it's kind of Goblin Slayer's turn to, um, explore those same runes and you know killed the goblins i'm guessing but the main thing i do wanna touch up on was that the goblins so when they attacked um it seemed like goblin say was looking something um that's you know in their anatomy you know a foreign substance in their bodies and it seems like we don't know what it was but it seems like he found it, I guess, or something, or he didn't find it. So I don't, I didn't really understand, but it seemed like he found something that was, that wasn't supposed to be in their body. So that's um, everything to me. The other thing that's kind of everything was that symbol in their um back. Seems like they were imprinted by like they were like branded, but um. It seems like it's like it looks like a like not claw but like a skeleton um hand pretty much that was imprinted on their backs now i wonder if like why would goblins do this because in previous um when gunslayer previously encountered goblins they never had this kind of branding so wonder if he's wrong because he said they were a wandering tribe so I wonder if you know there's actually more meaning to this because like I said this is kind of the first time we're seeing uh, goblins that were branded it um, especially with that type of um, pattern I guess I mean I'm guessing that there's some kind of significance to that um, to that brand, I guess. I hope we'll figure it out later, but overall, um, pretty good episode. It just felt like we were entering a new arc. Um, and considering since this is like episode 10 or 9, um, this is probably gonna be the last arc before season 2 ends. And you know, hopefully, there's a season 3 because I think, you know. Um, Goblin Slayer's story could go further or something, but overall, I think it was a pretty cool episode, you know, entering a new arc, um, pretty much being a bodyguard to the Sword Maiden, but I feel like since there's bound to be more episodes, um, there will be, you know, more that will be revealed, uh, going, you know, forward, and... Uh, one thing I do want to mention before I end this video was that we kind of got a glimpse of um, the party members that, you know, back in the day, that were part of the party of, as the same as the sword maiden. So I wonder if the, in the future, like, we'll meet them because we never got a explanation of what happened to them. Like, did they die or... You know, like did something happen? And I'm guessing if they were the same age as the Sword Maiden, um, you know, in the party, they're they're probably the same age right now. So since we see like the Sword Maiden now, she's like still alive in her prime, I guess you call it. Um, they must also be somewhere alive, cause not that of old age or you know. The only reason I see them dying is because of complication like sickness or like, you know, dying in an adventure. But, um, yeah, overall, pretty cool, um, episode. Um, I know there wasn't much revealed in this episode, but I hope that, you know, changes going forward. Um, I hope it answers all our questions, but overall, pretty cool episode, especially, uh, to kind of introduce us to a new arc of what's gonna be happening 
um, oh, going forward in these last uh, episodes that we have left of uh, season two. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it there. Please do like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.